Joining us now to discuss just what the what is going on is Tim Quast. He is president at Modern IR. They track these internal market movements, among other things. And Tim, I know it's it's super early out there in Colorado where you are, but this is an important topic and we appreciate you coming on. I mean, what do you make of some of these moves? What do you make of Chesapeake? What do you make of these retail stocks? I mean, what exactly is going on in the market internals right now? Hey, Brian, good to see you, even early. Uh, well, it, it, it's a reflection on market structure, how the markets work today. Uh, so there are around 47 million retail accounts if you add up the big five and Robinhood is part of that now. So you have Schwab, Ameritrade, uh, Fidelity, E-Trade and Robinhood and 47 million retail accounts. Uh, there aren't sports to watch. <laughs> so day trading has become the new sport and all of these firms sell their order flow to high speed traders. And the, the, this is a key reason for how some of these stocks mm. have behaved that you would think have very little to back them that uh, would support the equity valuations that you see today. And I can explain how that works. Well, that, hold up. That's an incredibly important point you're making right now about the order flow. And it's a little wonky. You and I, by the way, Tim, been talking about this since October of last year when you were on this show as well. On right. Robinhood, they're not putting the orders through the New York Stock Exchange. They're putting it through these citadels and these others of the world that can see the retail investor. Do you believe then that the high frequency traders are simply getting ahead of it and they're being tipped off, front, whatever you want to call it, and, and it's just a self-fulfilling cycle? Well, yes, that's that's and it's not nefarious. It's the nature of the market. Uh, the, there are elements about it that we can certainly look at askance, uh, but I'll, I'll describe how this works and how it triggers uh, volatility halts. So take take uh, Chesapeake. Uh, it, it, before a halt yesterday, it was trading at 70 and you go back to uh, late March, it was trading near eight. And the order flow that is interested in CHK that will come through these retail uh, brokerages will be instantaneously sold to a high frequency tra trading firm like Two Sigma or Citadel or Virtu. And those firms will know what's in the pipeline because they're buying it instantaneously. So if there is a vast backlog of order flow, that order flow is going to get splattered all over the market at rapidly rising prices. And, and this is the way it works. Uh, for the retail brokers, is that, it's a is great that way Tim? To is that it. illegal? No, it's not illegal. Payment for order flow is, as you know, uh, a topic of great controversy. But there's nothing illegal about it. In effect, what Schwab and its ilk are doing is, is rather than executing the trades themselves, they sell them to a firm that will execute them, and make a half penny. That's all it is. Uh, if you're a retail trader, you may see this all the time that your ex your trade is executed at two, three, four decimal points. Well, the reason is a high frequency trading firm has taken that difference between the penny and the tenth or a hundredth of a penny. Well, very rapidly, prices can go up 20, 30, 40 percent when this occurs. And if you're if you're entering, there are only two kinds of trades: marketable and non-marketable. Marketable trades want to be with within the best bid to buy or offer to sell non-marketable trades don't. And the tr these firms will know what the bulk of the trades are and whoosh, stocks can soar. And it's a result of this relationship between high frequency traders who will rapidly move the prices. They don't care what the, what the company does. Yeah. They're just and, and, trading and in the got, tick data. We got, we, got, we got to wrap it up, Tim, but quickly, um, is it going to end badly, you think, for a lot of these retail Robinhood Trader. By the way, we're glad retail investors are back. That's great. And, and we're glad that a lot of people made a lot of money and made hedge funds look silly. But how do you think it's going to all play out? Well, it's dangerous, right? They're, they're, if uh, Take Hertz. You were talking about Hertz. Hertz uh, debt trades for 40 cents on the dollar. That means that the debt holders believe they're not going to be made whole. And yet here Hertz has, is trading at more than its debt. Well, if you are the last party to hold the equity, you're going to get burned. And that's the risk in these situations.